Daily Bugle's headlines get me so mad. J. Jonah Jameson just said, Spider-Man's existence fosters an atmosphere of toxic paranormal activity in New York. Backbiters exist to sully the character of others. The Daily Bugle printed that I conjured the Hellmouth in New York City. First off, I didn't even know Hellmouths were real until last week. Second, New York already had a Hellmouth in Staten Island. I'm pretty sure vampires live there. Jameson ought to be tarred and feathered. Damage to one's reputation is impossible to repair. Do not let this minor annoyance distract you from the prophecy. Oh, I'm just venting. The Daily Bugle always had it out for me. Then when Lilith is defeated, we will fight this slanderous buffoon. Libelous. Slander is spoken, print is libel. I freelance for that libelous buffoon, and he always makes that point clear. Thanks for distracting me, Hunter. It's clear I gotta hire a publicist. Or better yet, just hit unsubscribe from the Daily Bugle on my newsfeed. Wow, I feel better already. Now, back to stopping the prophecy that will doom all mankind. I wish we could just unsubscribe from Lilith. If only it were that simple. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Time's wasting, Hunter. Now we can really get down to work. Better than nothing. Practice, right? Peace. You are going to love this. Uh, give me a sec. Okay. What can I say except you're welcome? I feel like I could automate this process and take myself out of the loop here. Oh, and I was just... 
just about to binge watch my story. Thank you, Hunter. This will do nicely. I thought you would choose that one. Until next time. to escape, do whatever it takes to stop it before it departs. We don't have much time. Take down anyone in your path and stop that helicopter. We hear you. assistance. Oh, 
Some ice on that. You'll feel better. We will never forsake her. Clean up the rest of these Hydra thugs. Hydra Immortalis! Seems they were guilty of to deserve that.
Okay, that was pretty cool. Your time has come. You were too weak for this fight. Man, scratch off another victory for the Midnight Suns. I think it's telling that not even Hydra wants to mess with Staten Island. I have something for you. Oh? Here you are. Wonderful. We can use it in the ritual. Erethole! I, I mean, hello there. Apologies, I was astral projecting with someone in the back of this. part about that Hydra job? Manhattan traffic. I have never seen anything like that car of yours. Thanks. I'm doing the best I can. Heading to shop class. You in? I am ready. Right on. Wait. What's Tony doing here? interesting how you solve the heat problem is that a good interesting or a bad interesting neither it's just not what I would have done right <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here Parker didn't invite Tony did he I can ask okay I'll hang tight okay before you ask Tony kind of showed up and started talking The more the merrier. Yeah. I mean, he's Tony Stark. How do you say no to that guy? I don't know how to talk to rich people. Would you mind? All right. Thanks, Hunter. Hey, boss. Fancy meeting you here. 
I didn't picture you for the technical type. Wait, no, I'm seeing it. You're someone who's always appreciated horsepower. What brings you here, Tony? I couldn't sleep. Saw Parker slip off with a backpack full of gadgets. I was tired and bored, so I followed him here. You know, the only time I've seen the Howl Ride is when it's on fire. You think uh, Robbie will let me poke around under the hood? Shop class is open to you. Well, that's nice, boss, but I don't plan to stay if I'm not welcome. Look, this isn't my thing, and I don't want to make it my thing. I'll stick around as long as Robbie and Parker are cool with it. All right. We should ask them. The two of you heard me, right? Uh, yeah. Sure did. So, what do you think? I'll be completely invisible. Like Sue Storm? Like a slightly taller Sue Storm. Yeah, we're happy to have you. I mean, as long as the shop doesn't become a Stark subsidiary, I'm good. Scout's honor. Then welcome to shop class, Tony. All right. You kids do your thing. That was easy. Almost too easy. Am I being paranoid? He has a place here, as long as his actions match his words. Good idea. And it's probably fine. As long as he doesn't alphabetize the component drawer, we're okay. But you came here to help finish this project. Go on. Parker can run you through it. We have no big threats on the horizon, so today we're going to retool some of our gear. No big threats? What about Lilith? Shop class deals with known quantities. Lilith alters fundamental scientific principles just by existing. She's way out of our league. Besides, we have a ton of ideas in the backlog for these personal prototypes. It all depends on the components at hand. You already gave me the components. Those will come in handy. I'm ready to put this together. How about you? I am ready. No comment, but that's some good work. Is that it for today? I am ready to go. So, Tony, um, did you have any thoughts on the project? Well, uh, who, me? I'm, I'm contributing now? We, uh, just wanted to know what you think. The Hunter has more options against the Fallen. I think shop class has already proved its worth. Really? <laughs> You think? That's my observation. Tony Stark is looking over our shoulders. How cool is this, Robbie? It's extremely cool. Oh, Tony Stark is extremely cool. You heard it here first.
What's good? Hey, the mission's not over until we all breathe a sigh of relief. <sighs> okay, what's the next mission? You doing okay? It's nothing. What is wrong? I can't play darts anymore. Why not? I can't lose. I get the max score every game. I can even pull off some crazy Robin Hood shots. I've tried blindfolds, facing away from the board, and one finger throws. Perfect score every time. You need to find something to replace darts. Like what? If physical activity is too easy for you, why not try something different? Hmm. Tony always tries to get me to play Go. That's because it's the only scenario where he knows he can kick my butt. So learn how to play. Beat him at his own game. Maybe. He's insufferable when he's winning. Always gets under my skin. Then the game you are really playing is learning not to let Tony under your skin. That's clever. And it'll freak him out. Yeah, okay. I'll try it. was a blast, Hunter.